So I think today that I really, I think this is more important than equipment. It's more, it's more important to talk about this than anything in the coffee business. It relates to the coffee business, but I think we need to discuss something that we've seen the last 30 years. Um, us as business owners, we're small business owners as well. And, uh, and I think what we see on a daily basis, sometimes daily, sometimes weekly, um, new customers that come to us and they don't have the skills that they need in order to be a successful business. So having said that, what I see is people, and I've done it too, we've both done it, we've read books, we watch you know, infomercials on how to be successful in business, we've all watched all that stuff and, and read all that stuff. And I think that what is interesting is they always give us this recipe, and, and there's people that call it the blueprint. Uh, the blueprint or recipe of how to start a business, how to be in business, how to be a business person. But what nobody's addressing is the actual, the psyche of the person that goes into business before they start a business plan, before they open the business, then once they're in the business. And we've all known people, and you've seen it and I've seen it, that go into business and we're like, wow, that person, it's surprising that that person is going to business because I can see that they, from a, from a mental st a standpoint or, or a, their heart cannot, is not a, it's not a, uh, it's not a perfect, you know, it's not a perfect recipe. Like well, I, I see them. I think what you're describing is the etiquette of how to act. So you can say that you want to be in business. You can say that you want to be an entrepreneur or you could be taking over the family business, but that doesn't mean that the, your inside ability to communicate, get along, accept, or, or just simply have empathy for the other person that you're working with is good or is even doable or workable. I think there's a lot of people, just because you're in business and just because you're considering yourself a business owner does not mean you know how to treat people correctly. Exactly. So, so um, I think that what we've encountered is some people are good at it, some people are bad at it, some people are, are really good at it. How about they're completely unaware of it? And they're unaware of it. So you, it's hard to find books that are going to tell you how to be a happy person and have gratitude for your situation or have how, how to treat your suppliers, your employees um, with respect, deep respect. Um, and fairness, mm -hmm. and how to come across. So this is, isn't something that people don't, people don't teach this primer. I mean, there is books on it, but it's so, there's so very few of them that, that really touch on how to act as a person. So I think that the purpose of us talking today is to talk about the coffee business, but it's really about business. It's really about people going into business and why they need to probably, before they even do a business plan, how to get right with themselves and make sure that they're mentally ready well, or how about just becoming self-aware of your own wellness? Because being in business is not an easy thing to do. Exactly. It's very hard on you and the people that you work with. Um, there's a lot to understand. You have to have a lot of patience. You have to have a lot of understanding. And you have to be very, very aware of everything going on around you. And you can't take out your aggressions immediately just because you're feeling stressed or because you're not getting what you want. How about you're not making any money or just all the challenges of being in business. There's, right. there's like being an entrepreneur, which is, Hey, I have a great idea and I would like to sell it. Right. Well, that is about this much of the big picture of actually doing and processing. And I, and I just really think we see this all the time that people want to do something, but they're not necessarily well and you know that falls under a very large umbrella of what does well mean but when you have people that are very aggressive but yet they're in business is that really a good combination probably not because you're trying to communicate with people but yet you're being too aggressive with them i've always said that you're going to get more when you're nice to people than when you're not nice to people right like i i've i've actually said this to customers and unfortunately i've had you know run-ins with people where uh, they felt like um, they weren't getting a fair treatment or I felt like they weren't being fair and we we kind of came to an impasse and it was, I, I actually said this to one customer a long time ago, I said, you know, you get more more uh, more flies with honey than vinegar um, and it's sort of like, I mean, that's the, you know, the, the age old 
adage, or, you know, it, but I think that what we're finding now is that people are maybe have all the tools, they've got all the business plans, they've got every possible logical thing to open a business. They went to business school. They went to business school. They've got great, a great espresso machine. They have great coffee. They have a great location. But what they don't have is the, the tools in order to be successful in life. And it isn't just about, oh, you need to be successful um, with money and that'll make you happy, which is the, of course, we know is not actually the truth. Um, no matter how much coffee you're pushing through any place. You're well, I think it's safe to say that without naming names, we have many customers that have a completely perfect setup right. with their location or their cafe or what they're selling or even the clientele that's lining up out the door. But because they lack those personal skills on customer service or the people they work with lack those skills or they're simply approaching people in the wrong way, it's not working. Something's well, not working, yep. it's broken. Um, there, there's a, a karma around what they're doing there's a that breakdown. is not connecting. There's a breakdown. So I, you know, I think that we've both, we both in the 30 years we've been in the business, we've experienced a lot of business owners. We sell business equipment. We sell um, products and, 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 a, and a supply, coffee, to people that are in business for the first time, people that are have already been in business. Um, and I see, it's like it, it brings out the best or the worst in them. You, you've, you really get to understand someone's real personality, what they're like under, under pressure. Because when you get ready to open a business, like let's say for example, a customer approaches me, they have one week before they're open. It usually is like, it's pretty amazing how they're either dealing with the stress um, where it or comes out, or not dealing with the stress, or not dealing with the stress, and and we all have, we all know people that uh, that you've had to work under. We've all had to have a job at some point in our life, and you're like, why is that person in charge? How could that person possibly be in charge? They don't have any life skills or any personal skills that would that would be you know advantageous for them to be a boss or a business owner. And it it's almost like the business owners, even though they pick. To be business owners, they're not necessarily, they didn't go to school for a personality. They went to school on business. Again, go touching back on that. So I think that what we're about to really talk about is, is, uh, is how to get those skills. And, and this, is, this is very, very important to us as business owners. Um, you and I have been on a search and on a journey to get enlightenment um, so that we can handle our business. Because you know, obviously having successful business it's only half the half the recipe is the, is the is the money coming in or the well, success. Well, and also the product that you're selling is not even as important as the relationship that you build with them before they actually take ownership of the product. Right. Because, and I don't know if this exists in all industries, but usually when a person is going to spend a substantial amount of money on a product that you sell them, whether you make it or you're reselling it to them, there's a there's a period of time where you get to know each other, you get to trust each other, you tell a little bit of your backstory, they tell their backstory, so that you can connect, understand, and, and trust the relationship. Then you go ahead and sell the product to them, whatever it is. Right, right. Or whatever cost is going into it. And if that relationship cannot be coveted at the moment, it's gonna be real hard to sell them something. Right. And they might not, it might not connect. Right. They may not buy from you. You may not be able to sell to them strictly because they can't get along or you can't mesh, you know, on a on a level of just personal person to person. Yeah, personal. So the I think that uh, we're going to make this a, a two part video. So this is going to be just kind of talking about why what what is the problem and then the solution. We have a solution for this. We're going to talk about this next on the next video.